Welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I'm Whitney Cummings, your guest host for tonight. I'm here because for a woman to host a network talk show, a man has to go on vacation. I'm kidding. I'm just here because Jimmy didn't want to get COVID. I'm fine, just so you know, health-wise, I did take a couple COVID tests. And as a lady, I got to say, it's nice to take a test for something that could destroy your life and not have to pee on it. So thanks, science. Anyway, I feel like the real reason they picked me to do this tonight is because I'm the only comedian who hasn't been canceled yet, which is very weird because I probably should have been a long time ago. I've, I've said some very crazy things, but they were all on Comedy Central, so no one can find them. If you want to cancel me, you literally have to buy a VCR on Craigslist, so Godspeed. I feel like uh, if you guys did just tune in to see Jimmy and are kind of surprised to see someone like me hosting instead, it's probably like when a guy's on a plane and they see a female pilot walk on board and at first they're like, look at her go, okay, yeah, female pilot, how neat. But then as soon as the door shuts, they're like, there's a guy in there, right? There's a guy in there that's there to like do the important stuff, you know, like flying the plane. Don't panic, there is a man in here, it's not just me. I have a guy right here, he's operating the camera. It's actually a very insane situation. Jimmy asked me to just show up to a random house. Now a guy in a mask is filming me. I don't even know if he works here or that if he's the only person that's ever gonna see this footage, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm complaining, okay? Even though with my voice, everything seems like I'm complaining, but this house is gorgeous. Uh, I still find it amazing how in Hollywood you can just rent some mansion for the day and shoot whatever you want, as long as you're, Wearing a mask or a condom, California is open for business. This truly is just some random house in Hollywood. I've lived in this town for 15 years. I've been invited to a house to shoot a TV show many times, but this is the first time I showed up and there's actually a TV show. So fool me twice, Danny Masterson, shame on me. That is that is the first moment where things felt weird with this no audience thing, because I have no idea how that just landed. I don't know if you're laughing or cringing. An audience can usually tell you, you know, that could have been the greatest joke ever told, or I'm gonna lose everything. I just, I guess we'll find out tomorrow on Twitter. Now, won't we? Anyway, back to me. Like most Americans, I live in Los Angeles, but I'm originally from Washington, D.C., which I'm sure you've heard is making a big push for statehood. But D.C. has always wanted this. Our license plate literally says taxation without representation. It's the only passive aggressive license plate. You'll never be driving around Oregon and see a license plate that says, Oregon, some sun would be nice. Or Florida, if you can read this, you're probably not from Florida. Stop right there. I'm not making fun of Florida. Don't think I'm being mean to Florida. I love Florida. Not as much as coronavirus loves Florida, but I love it. Some of my favorite pregnancies happen in Florida, so I don't wanna slam Florida. I would like to get back to making fun of Washington, D.C., because as I'm sure you know, the football team has finally taken a stand in changing the name of the Redskins. And I just, I must say, in their defense, back when they named the team the Redskins, it was only very racist. And I also have to give credit where credit is due. Out of respect for Native Americans, the Redskins kept their name out of the Super Bowl lineups for nearly 30 years. Honestly, I feel like they're probably just psyched to not be talking about concussions at this point. <laughs> and in general, I'm so fascinated when the NFL takes a moral or benevolent stand for something. Like, do you remember when they had the little pink ribbons on for breast cancer? Like, that was so wild to me because it was so clearly a PR move. Like some publicists sat them all down and were like, hey guys, we're getting some bad press. We need to align with a charity to help our reputation. So we need to, we need to pick a cause. So um, what do you guys care about? Everyone was like, uh, boobs. We love boobs. We heard boobs are in danger. Like what? Breast cancer, you know we get other kinds of cancer, right? Breast cancer, not even the number one killer of women. Heart disease, number one killer of women. They're like, should we do something maybe with heart disease? They were like, ugh, isn't that where the feelings come from? See, that's what's gonna get me in trouble. I just felt it. I just felt myself getting canceled. I felt the internet preparing to cancel me, but it doesn't matter. Everything gets everybody in trouble now. 
people now can find anything to be divided about. Like the fact that people have managed to politicize wearing a face mask in a pandemic, it makes me insane because I don't have the power to force someone to do this one small thing that saves lives. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills, skills I've acquired over a very long career. I can roast these fools on national television. It's the Roast of Maskless Idiots with Roastmaster Whitney Cummings. First up, we've got the Chico's All Lives Matter Fall Collection. Looks like Karen Khan got off to a slow and rocky start when these women kept calling the cops on the security guards. Looks like a casting call for a Lifetime movie about women who drown their kids in a station wagon. Now, let's take a look at this dumb moron. Nothing like rolls of toilet paper jammed onto your head to let people know you've got actual for brains. Dude, what is on your face? <laughs> he looks like a sea turtle stuck in a six pack ring. Also, cool bracelet. I think we can move on from him. Oh God, this guy. What this guy should have done with his Sharpie is color in the parts of his head where the plugs didn't take. I get it, I know what he's doing. He's trying to make a point that masks are just making us feel safe when it turns out they're not really safe at all. Yeah, kind of like the feeling you get when you date a guy who can write stuff backwards in a mirror, you creep. Anyway, have you ever just wanted to drive your car straight into a wall? My guess is he only bought this expensive suit because he was told Mexico would pay for it. Why don't guys just wear masks? What is the, con just, it, it helps you. It actually helps you get chicks. Put on a mask. There is a strong chance we'll flirt with you just because we'll think you're a surgeon. It's like uh, seeing a girl in a Hooter shirt, okay? She probably works there. And even if she doesn't, that girl is a party. All right, where's the next genius? Oh, this one. <laughs> this woman is holding a sign that says, I, I will not mask my unborn child, honey. You're not wearing a mask in a pandemic. You're never gonna see your child. I feel like this is probably a good time to point out that the opinions expressed here tonight are my own. I don't want Jimmy getting any backlash and more importantly, any credit for anything you hear tonight. Anyway, I am just, I'm upset. I'm obsessed with this woman because I can't wrap my head around how she hates science, but loves a fun orange slide. This summer, beat the heat with open toes and an open casket. It's so weird to me that women, so many women refuse to wear a mask, which is wild. It's like metal underwire bras that dig into our rib cage for 12 hours, totally fine. Polyester string that saws up into our crevices, absolutely. But a soft piece of cloth that stops an invisible and possibly deadly virus? Back off, bitch, I'll spit on your baby. It's been about eight minutes, which is more than enough time for a woman to be talking at you. So how about we take a break and then we'll be back with music from the amazing Rema and I will be joined by my very funny friend, Eric Andre. So get ready to see a naked man. See you soon.